Alrighty, welcome back. And um, today I'm kind of building off of a another video I did that has gotten the most attention on my channel, and that's how to install a third-party app store on the iPhone. So I'm going ahead and making this updated version, and this includes a brand new app store, one that's much better, 100% entirely free from A to Z. You like those rhymes there? See what I did? And um, so we're going to get right on into this. So in the description, you're going to find this link to this website, app slash emus for you. I think that's how you're going to pronounce it. I think emus an animal. I don't know. We're going to stay on topic here. So go ahead and click that link in the description, but on your iPhone. We're not doing this on the PC. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to the iPhone and I'll meet you there. All right. So here we are on the iPhone. Now, quick tip. You must open this in Safari. Don't use Chrome. Don't use Opera or whatever. Don't use Brave, even though you should. Links in the description for Brave, by the way. Best browser video is on my channel about that, which I'll put up there in the top right if you want to check that out. Off topic again. Let's get back to it. So open this link in Safari, the link from the description, cydia-app.com, and it's going to take you to the first page we saw. So scroll down just a bit until you find the download emus for you button. Hit that. It's going to take you to a new page. Scroll down again. It's going to look mighty similar, but this time there's a configuration profile link, and you're going to want to click that or button. Um, Pop-up comes up. Hit allow. Next pop-up profile downloaded. Hit close. Now you're going to want to hit the home button, get back to your main screen, go to settings. And in your settings, you're going to see right at the top there a profile downloaded uh, menu option. But I'm going to show you where to find that if you don't have that. Scroll down and go to general. Scroll down again until you see profiles. And then you're going to see emus for you. Hit that. In the top right, you're going to see install. Click that. Put in your passcode if you have one. And then a little pop-up again, install at the bottom and you're done. So top right, click done. Now we're going to go to the home page and we got the app installed. Um, there's many reasons why this one is better than App Valley. Mm. Number one I've been testing is just a bit more reliability. It's not offline as often. It's not it's difficult to find. Everything, you know, there's quite a problem. We've had a few issues with App Valley. So I went ahead and found this one. And um, so you're going to open that, click out, check out our, all our apps. And I'm going to show you how to download because sometimes the apps don't work so I'm just gonna click on a random one let's, let's get Instagram here so you press press get pop-up comes up you hit install and then go back to your home screen you'll see that install and one of the issues people have when trying to open an app from one of these app stores is it'll say the developer is not verified and therefore the iPhone will not allow it to open or be used so I'm going to show you real quick what might happen with this app might not I'll show you how to get around that real quick all right so it's done installing now you just try to open it and here it is untrusted enterprise developer so and so has not been trusted on this iPhone until this developer has been trusted their apps will not be available for use hit cancel go back to your settings app go back to general Go back to profiles and now what says end device management. Then you're going to see an enterprise app option at the bottom now. Click that. Click the trust button. Click trust again. Go back home. Find that app you installed. Click it. And there you go. Simple as that. Now you may have this app, this issue with multiple apps and or all the apps. I don't know. I'm just I just covered that for you real quick so you would understand what to do in the case that you run into that issue. So that about covers all you need to know of this new app store that I've found with a much more cleaner tutorial, simple tutorial, short and sweet and to the point they say. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. First things first, before you even think about doing anything on your phone, go ahead and click subscribe because I'm doing a video a day and in the case that I miss one, it's because I was clearly busy. Now, there's not much pressure on me to do a video a day, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there's that before, after, sorry, words are confusing. After you click subscribe, go ahead and move your mouse over to the thumbs up button, hit like, and then drop a comment. Let me know if you're having any issues. If you need help with anything, I got you. I'm always available. Let me know. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and until tomorrow.